E to interact. Press E to save this guy. E. E. Alright, I'm overheating. Was it C to cool myself down? I think it was. Let's go ahead and fill up again. Alright. You have to save at least five people to get to level two. Oh, that's kind of kind of cool. Stand here and press E to grab the axe. E, okay. Press E to use your axe. C, cool, cool down. No, was it E? E, no. F, no. Uh, Q, Q, Q. Okay. E, use the axe. Wait, did I die? I mean, I was standing in the fire, so <laughs> that's very possible. All right, we got this down though. Okay, so you cannot stand in fire, kids. Do not stand in fire. I need to grab this window, and bring it back up. Um, the download file is 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 still it's still downloading right now. Um, All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that sound. Okay. Okay, the, the voice acting in this is amazing so far. Okay. E to grab the axe. E to use your axe. Okay. Man. It's weird because you can't see until you go through the door, and then once you get through the door, you're burning, so it's like... I guess maybe I should cool myself down. I guess I should cool down before I go in. Hurry up. Okay, cool myself down. Alright. Here we go. Okay. E. He's burning. Oh wait, I'm out of water. Hurry, I gotta go. They're all burning. All right. <laughs> I really love the voices in this. I'm burning. Okay, F, 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 F. And I'm out of water again. I gotta go back outside. So much fire there. I'm overheating. Now I'm cooling off. Okay, I'm really cold. There we go. I hear these guys saying, help me, help me, I'm burning. Alright, I accidentally just dumped that water on myself twice. Oh, oh, more water. Sweet. That's actually just what I needed, if only I would have known. If only I would have checked that earlier. <laughs> that is that is actually the best bed sheet. <clears throat> oh, that is so good. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. Nobody in there. Did they all die? I only see two more arrows. I think I'm doing pretty good. So unless there's one here... Oh wait, I guess there could have been people in those rooms that I didn't... That I didn't save. I saved a guy! Alright. All right, we're gonna do this a little faster this time. We're gonna go get through here. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we can cool ourselves down now. 
All right. All right. Just because I want to see if there's indeed somebody in here. Which there is not. I can't believe there wasn't anybody in there. Oh, I guess the arrows would, would point that out to me, so... Alright. Don't... I mean, all of the arrows look like they're pointing up. Oh, and now I'm gonna overheat. No! Get... Get... No! <laughs> Get in there. There we go. Oh man, my health is so low now though. Okay, we got that fire out pretty quick. I didn't do anything with that water. Oh, and now I'm out of water again. And I can't get in the room. All right. Man, I can't find these people. Like, the arrows don't seem to be actually pointing out much of anything useful. Okay, so there's an arrow there, so I assume... I assumed wrong. There is nobody in there. There's nobody in there. Okay. This game is really hard, but really enjoyable at the same time. Okay, press E to save this guy. I'm gonna get the axe. Break down this door. Put out that fire. Break down this door. I'm gonna grab some water. Cool myself off. Go back out. Put out that fire. Put out that fire. Break down this door. Oh, there is a person there. It looked like a cabinet. <laughs> okay. You are free to go. You're welcome so much. Oh, I'm over overheating. Okay. Okay, so the arrows are right. They're not lying to me. Which means there's somebody in here who is orange. There we go. Why aren't you going? There we go. Okay, get into the room with the water, cool myself off some more, okay, we gotta get on over here, I assume that this guy's gonna be, oh I have no more water, <laughs> gotta run all the way back, alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to save everybody, but we'll, we'll save as many as we can. This guy's orange. I just dumped it on myself. Okay. Nobody in here. <laughs> There's two people left and they're both over this way. Grab some more water. <laughs> uh, man, this is so difficult. And they're both red now. I got three of them. All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. And I'm gonna have to try and see if I can beat that some other time. Uh, I didn't quit. I have zero dollars in the bank. Saving helpless victims does not pay very well. All right, Dimpa man, Dimpa eighty nine, Dimpa eighty nine. Can I see what this game is? This would be a walk for water. Boop. 
Okay. Walk for water. Let's go ahead and play. Move forward with W, turn with A and D. Okay. Just gonna just gonna keep walking. I kinda feel like I wanna follow these trees. I need some water. I need some water, apparently. I need some water. I need some water again. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Let's follow the trees this time then. I need some water. Oh, wait. Space bar to drink. I suppose. Uh, drink, drink, drink. Gulp, gulp, gulp. There's no, like, food bar. There's a baseball cap. I'm gonna go for the baseball cap. Alright, that did not work. Press shift near the oasis to fill your bottle with water. Shift. So there's an oasis nearby, apparently. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Shift. I need some water. Shift. <laughs> I'm gonna die in the water. <laughs> I died in the water. <laughs> All right. Maybe this game is bugged. That'd be really unfortunate if it was. All right. So we're going forward. All right. Following the trees. <clears throat> the dust storm is pretty cool. I need some water. I need some water. There we go. Press shift near the oasis to fill your bottle with water. Okay, I am near the oasis. I press shift. There we go. Now I filled it, I think. I filled it again. Let me go ahead and drink. And then fill it. There we go. Alright. Moving on. I need some water. I need some water. Here's a beach ball. Will that work? Whoa, particles! <laughs> Oh, a monkey head. I saw that. You tried to hide it, but I saw it. Are these rocks? Hold shift while standing near the shadows to avoid the heat. Okay, hold shift. I'm holding shift. I need some water. I just drank some water and now I'm stuck. Okay, moving on. Man. I need some water. Uh oh. Sorry, guy. I'm out of water. I need some water. I know you do. I know you do. I can see the water right up there. I need some water. I couldn't make it. So close. Let's move on to the next one. That one is pretty cool. I may try to finish it later. Uh, Carlo's Quest. Carlo's Quest. Let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure that finished. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Carlo's Quest. Uh, all of this we're gonna extract. Extract all of that. Carlo's Quest. Bye. Adrian one two zero three nine six who I believe is the one chatting. Alright. Do 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 okay. So let's go ahead and check that one out. Was there, right? 
characters levels levels dot blend uh, uh, uh levels overlays pirate slashes sounds items levels characters levels all right No, that's not right. Is it an executable? Uh, it just adds two blend files needed for textures. Pirate folder. Okay. Open pirate. Carlos Quest dot blend. Carlos Quest or game? Okay, wait. Uh. And this is a file. Open the folder where you saved Carlos Quest. In the directory where the character and pirate folders are held, do not open them. Copy and paste the two folders in the fixed .zip file. Can I just play the files from the zip file? Ooh, sounds not available. Got quick game, credits, campaign, credits. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Okay, Realm of Fire. Here we go. All right. Some lava textures. And oh, there we go. Some mouse look issues. I think. Whoa, okay. All right. I got a pretty, pretty nice third-person camera system. Aside from the, the like cap on the mouses. Not there. All right. So I, <laughs> I assume then that the character is meant to have textures. He's not meant to be a, a purple man. Are the text? I guess the textures are in the. Uh, I guess the textures are in the. Like sort of. Standard game folder, right? Okay, I'm lost again. There we go. I know it. I know it's messing with me. The key obtained. I don't have a like the mouse is inverted for what I usually do. The bats are hurting me, I assume. don't normally play with the mouse inverted, so that's kind of <laughs> thrown me off. Now what do I need to do? Am I meant to be able to wield sword and kill off these bats? stuck in the wall <laughs> um okay so something that this needs with all of these walls around is it needs a um camera collision so that whenever you whenever the camera goes through the wall it basically snaps to the wall so that i i can still see my character there oh it does <laughs> It's just, it's like a soft camera snap, I see. I see. Again, the frame rate on this one seems to be, seems to be pretty bad. But I still have absolutely no idea why. Where do I put the key in and why are these bats killing me so much? Okay. Where do I put the key? Do I just hit E? Oh, oh, oh. oh. There we go. E. E. I 
can see that that's a door. <laughs> okay. I don't... I don't understand. E. T Wait, there's E. Press tab. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I guess that was I guess that was me in that picture. Okay, so tab. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some sense. Hey, I can fight stuff now. Nice. All right. I died. -ed. I'm not good at the game. All right. <laughs> it's got it's got sounds. It's got textures. One thing that would maybe make this a little cooler, but of course not not totally necessary be if like the walls had a slightly different texture than the than the door okay I can't okay there we go I think the uh, the, the camera collision left control to track to enemies okay sweet um, so right now the only thing I would change then would be to make the camera st snapping a little more stiff at least at first because if I stand next to a wall like this and then I whip the camera sideways in fact there it's not colliding at all okay so the camera colliding the camera colliding seems to only work within a certain distance there don't exactly know why. I think it's because whatever you're using for the camera collision detection might be back a bit far. Um, so I guess that, because if I move the camera sideways through the wall quickly like this, it doesn't track in so the camera's stuck behind the wall. So I would change, I would change that, but I love it when this happens. This happens in so many uh, Blender games. <laughs> the animations get stuck. And it's just kind of hilarious to see. This guy's dancing. What? What? He's like ready to party. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what causes that, but it's like fairly common in Blender games. Do I have to have my sword in to use this? Or do I just have to be in it? in a better spot. All right. All right. Where do I have to be? There? Nope. Come on. Show me. Show me. Where are you? I had it before. Uh, I know, I know. There we go. I'm pressing E. Um. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this again. All right. So I'm here. Walk forward to the center. E. I don't think it's. I don't think it's working, but I don't know why. It's not a bug, is it? <laughs> it 
It's not the... maybe it's the blender version. This one's what, 2.75? I can't open it. <laughs> Let's try to get in there. <laughs> seven point okay, seven point seven two. All right, let's uh let's open it in seven two then and try it that way. Um, I ha I did load the one from the down from the uh, from the finished games thread, so I'm gonna guess that it's probably a Blender version issue. So let's go ahead. Do I have? I do have seven two. So let's go ahead and open that one up. We'll just open it in this version of Blender and hopefully that fixes it. Uh, it'd be kind of nice. What I what I kind of want to see in future in the future contests, what I would love to see is that you have a specified version of Blender to use. Um, and I guess make it the current version of Blender at that time. Because that would make it so much easier for people who are wanting to try all the games. Because unless you have tons of versions of Blender like I do. Like I, I've stored probably the the previous, what, seven versions of Blender. Um, because I do work with a lot of older Blender files. But if you don't have all of those versions of Blender then it doesn't, you know, doesn't work. So is there a way that I can fix the textures? Open from game... game.blend. Okay. Play. Uh-oh. I goofed something up. Okay. What's going on? I think the camera's just forever zooming out. I think I may have messed something up there. Okay. So here we are. I'm gonna get rid of the guy. There we go. This is working right. Alright. I think we got it fixed. All right, boop, boop, boop. Okay, we'll follow these zeros. Overall, this game's this game's uh, working really well. It's like, you know. Oh, actually, I just noticed. Whatever's different about this one, the game dot blend, it's running really smooth now. I didn't notice that before. The other one was lagging. I'll bet. Um, there's probably a few Python scripts in here, correct? Um, and I'll bet that the lag was from a Python script that was like <laughs> throwing an error like every frame. Um, which is probably because of the Blender version. So now that it's running in the correct version, it's running silky smooth. Oh, I have to hold I have to hold space for the <laughs> I have to hold space for the jumping. All right. Now we'll see if it works. Ah. Oh, okay, there we go. Blender version fixed it. We've got an enemy here. I think I got him. I can't see. I'm really not used to the mouse being like this direction. See, for me, whenever I move the mouse up, 
I want the camera to go down, I guess. And whenever I say it, <laughs> whenever whenever I say it like that and move the mouse around, I I think no, that's not right. But whenever I'm just playing it, it it's backwards. I always end up going like, let's look up. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're getting there. Nice music. Especially for like the overall aesthetics of the game. It's really nice. Ooh, a cutscene! <laughs> Nicely done. Ah, uh, he doesn't like that, apparently. Thanks for the cutscene. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, I'm so happy about that. I should probably... Left control tracks to an enemy. Did I get him? I think I got him. Woohoo! I got him! <laughs> okay. Where do I go now? I mean, did I win? No. There's arrows. There's arrows pointing me in the right way. I gotta go this way. I definitely need that faster camera collision. Because every time I come around a corner, it, like, I end up not being able to see for a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in the wall. Probably a bigger bounding box on the, uh, on the character. Alright, it's getting this way. So there's a bit of a texture mess up there. Got this kind of like interesting sort of zigzag wall pattern. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. Wait, is this back where I started? Wait. <laughs> I hit control and I start diving. <laughs> I just start sinking through the ground. Just oh wait, I guess that was part of the animation error. All right. Here we go. I'm going to try not sinking into the ground this time, guy. So you better watch out. Take that. Take that, scary guy. This game is really good. This game is really good. All right. I'm going to avoid that guy, because I, I, it appears that I don't actually need to encounter him. We're going to follow some more of these green arrows to this stone. E. Ooh. I had it there. Where am I? There I am. Hello? All right. I don't get it. What's with the water? <laughs> Wait, I got the sword back. Oh, and I'm going to drown, aren't I? Uh... Why 
why is so much water pouring in? It's got a kind of weird... No, don't, don't hurt me. Don't, don't. I need to, I need to climb the rope. I need to climb the rope. Haha, <laughs> you can't hurt me now. Alright, how do I climb? How do I climb? How do I... Oh, there it is. Climb! There we go. Alright, I hope this is the end. I'm gonna be so happy. Come on. Come on. And give me a cutscene. There we go. So there's, uh, there's triggers where you have to press E. I think you need to make those areas a little bigger if they're areas. Um, because that was a that was a bit bit hard to do, but overall it was it was really good. It was really good. Um, yeah, I kind of wish that I had the textures on the guy, um, but yeah, it was pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what's next. We are going to go for. Discreet fishing. Is there main game? No, there we go. All right, we've got a high score. Oh, I clicked. I clicked and I messed it up. <laughs> okay, space casts it. Center did his miss. It's probably arrows, isn't it? Yes, it's it's arrows. All right. So I assume we want to avoid all of this junk. Ta-da! All right. I got a total of one point. So we're gonna want to try to. F Wait, zero plus. So I guess you want to catch as much stuff as you can. Not just the fish. Alright. So we're going to go down as far as we can, I think. <laughs> Those are some big fish. Oh no. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like I can grab. All right. 2.74 in case you run into problems. All right. So this is what? This is 2.7. Oh, this is still 2.72. That's right. Okay. So I guess it might run into issues. It doesn't look like it is so far, though. So far, it looks like it's running okay. All right. Don't mess with me, fishies. Oh, I just realized I'm spawning bubbles. <laughs> it's nice sounds. I really like the music. Oh, no. That, yeah, that guy's going to catch me, isn't he? So I guess you can only catch stuff that's, like, smaller than what you have on. See, I would imagine that the junk would all subtract from your score, right? Ah, it does. Okay, there we go. I got it. All right. Okay, this time. So no junk. It's different every time, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. All right, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. This seems like it should be a mobile game. 
everywhere, right? We're gonna go past you, past all of you. This one's gonna be a bit tricky there. No, stay away from the puffer fish. Oh no. Oh no. Ah oh, boy, I got it. <laughs> Love how as you go deeper it gets like animals that will go deeper. Treasure chest, I want that. I assume that the jellyfish are negative points. I'm not catching any of these. Maybe that maybe that is an issue. Or maybe I'm just not hitting them at the right spot. Okay, and finally avoid all the trashes. Got an octopus! So we get, what, 24 for that one. Didn't get the treasure chest though. I'm thinking that maybe I wasn't colliding with those fish, right? Alright. No, I grabbed the tire <laughs> and a bunch of others. <laughs> Alright. I'm a really skilled fisherman because I can guide that fishing hook wherever I want it to go. Alright. That's going to be really hard coming back up through there without grabbing any trash. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was going to pull all the way off to the left to see if I can... Uh, See if I can get it. Wigglefish! Um, I don't think it has been. I'd have to check. I, I don't remember that name though, so I, I think... Aw. I think that has not been played yet. I'll go for one more... One more round of this. On the mission for the treasure chest. Looks like we've got a pretty open spot there. Which is pretty good. This is randomly spawning them, right? Um, like it's it's different each time, right? Because if it is, that that random spawning is working really well. Oh, this is gonna be a huge problem. No puffer fish, no. Okay, I think I found a bug. Oop. Oh. Nope, it, it found itself again. Quickly grab all the fish that I can. You want... Eh. Oh, and I got a can. That's unfortunate. Alright. 24. I don't think that's too bad. The treasure chest is probably worth a good bit. But yeah. High score, 114. That's not fair. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. So that was discrete fishing. Wigglefish is actually going to be the last one played, it looks like. So golden reel fishing, SRCBR, TLS, underwater light chasing, and then wigglefish. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to need to speed these up a little bit. So we got a big A. What is this? Okay, so I'm sorry. I, I've, I skipped announcing the names there. So that one, that one was Discreet Fishing, which was by The Timster. This one is Golden Reel Fishing. Golden Reel Fishing. This is by... Adrian's Netless. Adrian's Netless. I think that's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm pronouncing it. We've got a question mark here. Oh boy. Okay. There's a lot of reading there. So you're a new member. We will learn you the basics of fishing. Start. You must find a good point where to throw the line to do this press. So I see mouse, space, space to throw the line. Uh, now you have to hold left mouse button to pull the line in, or right mouse button to hold the line at its position. If you do not do it, then fish can escape. But when spinning the reel, be sure to watch tension bar, because if it's full, you'll rig some of the equipment. When the fish is caught, turn around and left mouse button while you see your equipment stock part. 
you want to select bucket with bait highlighted. Open the menu where you can choose and buy items. Let's play. Right, I should, uh, I suppose I should keep checking the versions of Blender. Whoa. Alright, so I can I can turn around. There's the bait bucket left bait bucket left mouse button. I can buy a piece of bread, a worm for two, a fly for four, and a caterpillar for six. How much do I have? Looks like I have fifty. Let's buy Can I buy any? I guess I can't. Oops, I hit escape. <laughs> All right. Make sure to play it in standalone. Oh, right. So there's the. Okay, so is there a standalone version of it that's like downloadable? Or do you mean like open it in Blender but then launch the standalone player? Um, go ahead and grab some of this bait. And then I guess space. I think this is the, uh, I think that's the actuator mouse look, the mouse look actuator, because it's very, uh, kind of, like, tappy. <clears throat> I caught a trout. Yay. Can I buy this now? I cannot. I wonder if that's just not even a thing yet. So let's go with space. Does anybody know what uh, what changed in Blender that's like, or what happened that made all of this, you know, water stuff go on? Because it's been a while since I've browsed the forums, but I notice there's tons of this, like, real-time reflections water. At least it looks like real-time reflections. Because um, it looks really, really good. Okay. Space. Give me something. Hey! I got him. I caught a perch. go there. isn't exactly the most uh, super exciting on the edge of your seat style of game if you know what I mean <sighs> yeah we're getting there got him I caught a trout okay can I buy bait I cannot all right I think I'm gonna leave this at that it it, it looks really nice but I'm not exactly a huge fan of fishing, so it doesn't really uh, tailor to me. Wait, hole in this. Okay. 
there's a there's a hole in the sky, and apparently, like from this angle, ooh, there's there's like reeds there. From this angle, <laughs> it looks like there's like a, a pole off in the distance, just going up up to the sky. It's the moon elevator. We've done it, guys. We've made an elevator that goes to the moon. So there we go. <laughs> All right, what have we got next? Ooh, open. Uh, let's see. We have got S R S R C B R S R C B R. Let's see what this one is. SRCBR. Super RC Boat Racing is what I'm going to assume that one is. That is by Twister GE. I'm going to go ahead and play. Got some Game Grumps outlines going on. Boop. Super RC Boat Racing. I kind of wish there was a background here. Got interesting. Whoa! I must have just like gotten my eyesight at the perfect spot but I just got this this huge sensation of me being just twisted sideways just all of a sudden out of nowhere wow don't it's right there at the play button if I look like just just above the play button I feel like I'm being twisted right here oh man okay I'm gonna stop staring at that spot <laughs> start playing the game some nice gooey here okay gotten really good at casting <laughs> try not to die I won't know where to send the paramedics Boop, boop, boop. Okay, there's my name. Astof Goofland. Astof Goodland? Astof Goofland. Ooh. Ooh. We've got a choice. Which one should we go for? This outline. This outline is really messing with me. I'm a fan of yellow. So we're going to go with the yellow and black one. Okay. All right. What version of Blender was that made in? Because that just crashed. Just straight up just crashed. Sorry about the mic bump. And the pops. What? Okay. We're going to find... We are going to do some sleuthing. We're going to find out which version of Blender that was made in. Finish games section. Super RC boat racing. Here we go. Where are you? Uh, does not have a screenshot, or at least not one that Blender likes. Okay, ver version Blender two point seven five. Oh. <laughs> That's what we got here. Yeah, so uh, that was in Blender 2.72, though. So that was, I hope, the issue. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out right now. <clears throat> Oops. I'm going all over the place. Game. Open. I need, like, a dedicated spot for the chat. Oops. Okay. So we're going to play. We're going to go with the brand new name of however you pronounce that. Okay. I hit okay. There we go. We got some nice sounds. Getting some water bobbing. Oh no, how do I use this spacebar? Okay, spacebar is how to use it. I like the sounds. I really like the sounds. I think that was just a missile that 
I just shot it at his shield. Hey, there we go. We got some nice surface particle effects. And again, here's the water. So was there a shader that somebody released or something? Um, that like, like a water shader that somebody released recently? Oh, you can check the Blender version with Python. That's that's really useful. Were you here? <laughs> I'm not even going to try pronouncing your name. I'm just going to spell it out. P-Q-F-T-G-S. Um, were you around whenever I was asking about... Whenever I was talking about <clears throat> what I'd like to see the next competition do? or future competitions. I mean, it adds... It means that everybody would have to use that version of Blender. People who don't want to use that version of Blender might miss out on the competition. But at the same time, it makes it it makes it easier for people who are going to play the game because then they know exactly which version of Blender need, needs to be used. Are you using just the, um, I guess, okay, Diego, this is your game, right? I guess you're using, are you using just the, uh, the in-game text stuff for this? For the GUI? Because it looks really good. Like the name over the boat and all that. And the lap numbers. I win! And again, like the center, the center menu looks really nice. I really like this one. So, okay. I guess I'm not going to know this, but I wonder if the boat's... Man! <laughs> I cannot... I cannot deal with those, with those bars. I just get... Uh. <laughs> My head gets all turned. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I found a glitch. We'll try that again. Play. I'm not sure if the boats have different performance, but we'll try it again with this one. I really like. Just about everything about this game. The the textures are nice. The models for the boats are nice. Um, I mean, we've got the water. Granted, I'm a submarine right now. Oh. So the boats probably need to go, you know, need to be up a little higher. That guy had turned around just to shoot me. It's a really nice GUI system. I really like it. Ha! Take that. <laughs> I like the, the wall, like the textures on the walls and all that. The only thing that I feel this needs right now, or like, would make it, would make, take it to the next level, right? The thing that would take it to the next level is like, animations whenever something happens like the whenever i get one of these question bubbles i feel like there should be like a, a small puff of smoke or something whenever i grab them um yeah maybe if you just had them like shrink like just a shrinking animation really fast that might work hey same with like whenever Stuff's hitting me. Other than that, it's really good. Yeah, I seem solid. <laughs> that first race was pretty easy, but... And what is that, by the way? Is that like a, a soda bottle? No, golf, no! How many different names are there? Because I assume that they have... 
that there's a few. I guess they're not always the same, are they? Maybe. Take that. Oh, there is an animation. It's like a little fire explosion. I think maybe that explosion needs to be like parented to the boat so that it like follows the boat or something. I missed the question mark and now I'm gonna lose. <laughs> ah, come on, Kilo. No, I think I'm going to lose. Pretty sure. Oh, no, I won. Sweet. All right. I really like this one. This game is really good. What time is it? Okay. Try one more. Try this sort of... Oh. Okay, so I don't know what that is. It's a grape juice bottle. I don't know what that is, but it seems like ever uh selecting the boat the second time seems to cause it not to spawn in correctly. I don't know what's going on with that, but Ooh. Punch him. Punch him. By the way, if somebody could verify the delay on the video and just type something in chat whenever I say this. Because <laughs> the reason I tried, I'm doing, uh, I decided to do this on Twitch instead of YouTube. Because in, in the past I've done the YouTube, but there is a really long la delay on the YouTube, like 40 seconds between whenever you see something in chat and whenever, um, well, 40 second delay between the between the videos, so everybody in chat's like 40 seconds behind. Um, whenever I was testing this out, it seemed a lot faster. Like it was 10 seconds or so whenever I was testing it out, but I'm not sure how it is right now. <clears throat> Man, I've got all the shields though. Well, that bottle just went through the ground. Oh, it, it was going after Victor. Okay, I'm going to try to pit maneuver this guy. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Can I lose? That's the question, because I was pretty sure I wasn't in the lead on that last one. It still said I won. Alright, you ready for this? Haha. -ha. Got him. That was that was weird. The like bubble effects, they're kind of coming and going. Like see here there's no like trail effect and then there it shows up. It's kind of weird. It must be at like certain angles. All right, here we go. Last lap. Romeo, where's Juliet? <laughs> Take that. Pow. Ah, spun him out. Right, I just need one more bottle. Uh. Oh, this one's close. This one's close. I still finished first. <laughs> I don't know if it was legit or not, but... Oh, there's a sound still going. So I think that's... So the problem with that uh, not loading in the second time, like right now if I would hit play, I think that's probably because the scene is still there in the background, right? Right, so now there's all these yellow things and I can't do anything. So I think that scene just never gets deleted and it, it probably needs to be. All right, TLS, the last survivor. This one is by, oh, I forgot that one too. This one, Super RC Boat Racing. That was by Twister GE. I think I said that. The Last Survivor. 
This is by Sky Crafting 78. Let's see if there's any music on the main menu. There is, and there are sounds. Beautiful. I was kind of expecting the background to be animated, but that's good. Controls. Forward, back, left, right. Shift to sprint. Credits. Short credits. Okay, play. There we go. Oh, I forgot. I want to bring this back up. Yeah, that's good. It's a good point. Um, I feel that the benefits of doing the version lockdown kind of outweigh the cons, though. Because, like, what we were experiencing today, um, what we were experiencing today, like, there were a few games that had bugs that just broke the game um, until I switched to a different version of Blender. Um, so I guess that would be, that would be the biggest advantage of having a, a version lockdown is then, um, everyone's, everyone who's voting knows that they're using the correct version of Blender for those games. Everybody who's creating a game knows that the people playing it will be using the same version of Blender, so they don't have to worry about, is it going to be compatible or... Is it not going to be compatible? Um, you kind of know it is because, you know, this is the version of Blender that's going to be used. So I I think it should be a thing. But So here's our introduction. This region has become empty. It's very difficult to find water and resources. Everything has finished and people began to die because of starvation. Nobody could live here for so long. But guess what? You are the last one to survive or die in this region. Sorry, I just felt the need to get dramatic <laughs> because of the audio. So your task, you have to find the required items. Press E for inventory. Once you found them, you have to use the fuel for the helicopter escape. Did I say who this was by? Did I say who this was by? This is The Last Survivor by Skycrafting78. I did say that. Remember that now. <clears throat> All right, done. Ooh, frame stutters. There's a helicopter here. There was something recently would have to do with reflections, right? I mean, there has to be. There's so many, so many new things with reflections now. And I gotta say, there are so many like in in these bgmc games they're looking so much nicer than what they used to like i mean <laughs> it's simple i know but look at this rock it's it's at least decently textured i mean i wouldn't say it's you know top quality but it looks good same with the ground here, it's not top quality, it looks good. The grass, it looks good. And it kind of used to be that, oh, it's a Blender game, it looks horrible. But, I mean, now, they don't look that bad. What do I need? I don't need anything. I am good to go. I assume that this says petrol. I don't read whatever language that is. I assume Russian? But I can't read it. Highly flammable though. I can read that. Do I need this? I missed the control for interacting. Let's go to this house. <clears throat> we see like just overall in the skybox, Skybox actually looks really good on this one. And it's moving. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. I didn't know I didn't know it was a zombie. I thought the rock was killing me. Okay. Let's let's get out of here.
<clears throat> House is a bad idea. Uh, now I probably need things. No, I don't need things. He popped out of nowhere, didn't he? Okay, I just want to get a I just want to get a good look at this guy. Okay, he moves pretty fast, a little too fast for his animation, but I mean the model looks pretty good. And that sounds pretty good too. <clears throat> All right, let's get away from that guy. He's a bit of a, a party pooper. I don't like him. I wish I knew how to interact with things. I'm expecting to left click, but it doesn't seem that way. Fuel. Space. Q. I feel like I missed something. This house is messing up a little bit. That's kind of disappointing. It's like there's two intersecting faces going on there. There are actually quite a few houses around here. Ah. Uh, I can see inside of it, but I can't go inside of it. Don't think there are any zombies around. But I'm about out of water. Because I was too busy admiring the scenery. Nothing in there. R open. Wait. Oh. It says something that I can't understand, so. It's R the interact button. Interact, please. I can't interact with that. I feel like... I should be able to get in the helicopter, but I guess not. There's a zombie still trying to follow me. T-Rex world is going to be on the big games. So I guess it's not up there now. Um, oh, let's try the well. Let's go up to it and see if we can hit our... I don't really see... I guess this is a survival game. <laughs> <clears throat> if we can't get water from here, then I don't know. There's a day-night cycle. The sky turns red. This is really good. I really like it. Now give me water. I feel like I'm sinking into the ground. Like, I'm pretty sure last time I saw this, it wasn't this tall. Give me water. I can't do that. I'm out of water now. I'm losing health. We're gonna go to the barn. There's a hammer here. F F is to pick up. Use hammer to kill the starving humans. Go to inventory, press E, and hit the hammer icon. There we go. Okay, so can I... wait. Yeah, I feel like I'm sinking into the ground here. I found fuel now. So that's good. Use that fuel for the helicopter to escape, but remember you should collect all three items in order to use the helicopter. You can use the water bottle once you have found it. It does count that you have found the water bottle. I don't know that I can use the water bottle. Or that I want to look for the water bottle. I'm about, I mean, I'm running low on health now. 
I think I'm stuck sprinting right now. Okay. Water bottle. Where, where would I hide if I was a water bottle? I think I would hide. I think I would hide in the helicopter. So that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> can't lose this game. We've got to win. Did you drop a water bottle? No. I don't think that house was there before, was it? Like, that looks totally new. Oh, there's stairs. Okay, I really don't get how this sprinting works. We've got that little corner glitch, though. We can move fast. Oh, there it is. Okay, and... I, th I saw it a second ago. There we go. You can use the bottle by going to inventory, press E, click on the bottle icon, and once it's in your hand, right-click to drink it. Hey, I drunk it. All right, we're gonna have to try to make it to the helicopter now. <laughs> oh, I'm healing, so that's good. This is one big wooden pallet. <laughs> All right, here we come, helicopter. We are going to escape. Victory will be ours. Fuel. Ah, oh, fill it up. Fill it up. T. Ride. R. Add fuel. Okay. Goodbye, zombies. That was pretty good. All right. Got some credits rolling here, freesound.org, freesfx.com, and the other one. Got some modelers here. Dennis H201, sound editing, shader scripting. Nice. Very good. Very good. That was The Last Survivor by Skycrafting78. We are moving on. We've got two more. We've got underwater light chasing and wiggle fish. Here we are with underwater light chasing. Press space to start. I don't know nautical terms. So W, S, A, D, Q is climb, Z is dive, escape, bailout. It read the computer name. How nice of it. <laughs> it. It read the name on the computer. So, Q to surface. It would be like. Yeah, it would be. It would be really nice to be able to publish for cross platform. Dude, is this like an ROV, like a underwater robot? Because that's what it feels like it is. And this looks, this one looks amazing. I kind of wish that there were reconfigurable controls, because I really want like space and shift to be the dive and. the dive and surface buttons. Again, the sounds are really good. There 
I really like the lights. Okay. There's the next one. How many are there? I guess it's not just infinitely spawning, is it? Probably is, I want to say. Man, <laughs> seeing these games in this competition though makes me really want to learn the shaders, like how to how to code different shaders. I never learned how to do that. Um, but seeing how good some of these look. Makes me really want to learn it. It's GLSL, right? Or is it OpenGL? OpenGL. I think it's OpenGL. I think that's all there is. Alright. <laughs> so I guess that was it. Did it save my high score? Yeah, Super Glue's best score. 12. Beat that. Next one. <clears throat> so this is going to be the last one then. Got Wigglefish. Wigglefish. Oh, what was that last one by? Oh, hey. <laughs> the Underwater Light Chasing. SDF uh, GL. There we go. That was pretty good. I, again, I really like the shaders. What do we have now? We have Wigglefish, which is by Nines. Wigglefish. I am spinning uncontrollably. Uh, uh, okay, whenever I click, it looks like my jaw's doing something. Maybe I need to look up at the controls for this one. W seems to make me bigger, but I can't do anything then. All right, let's look at the... Oh, play, plain standalone. That's right. <laughs> um, so was there a standalone version of it? Or do I need to play... Okay, it's just a blend. So, standalone player, full screen, start... Oops. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit escape on that. Click the standalone play button. Player. Oh, wiggle the mouse. Okay. That's kind of a cool mechanic. I like that. Get out of my life. There we go. I like how all the bubbles are physical objects. All right. What am I supposed to be doing? Probably not supposed to be pushing a cigarette around. Wait, there's a cube. Uh, 
Eh. Kind of hard to steer. Give me the cube. Ah, give me. Give me. Okay, so that's not a thing that I need. don't fully understand what the object of the game is. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try starting again. I don't really I don't understand. So whenever I left click the the jaws close, right? Nom. Nom 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 nom. Okay. And I can move around. It seems to be going a lot slower than what it was. Oh, do I need to like... Okay. Get over here. But I can't eat the cube. Gimme. Gimme. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I was looking for a um Yeah, I guess I was looking Oop. I was looking for a way to score points or uh or grow, I guess. Now that was weird because that time it was like moving the whole thing was just moving a lot slower than what it was the time before. It kind of reminds me of, uh, of like, Spore. Starbucks coffee. Okay, yeah. I think being able to, being able to eat would have added a, a lot more, uh, would have added a lot to it. I like how the eyes are like attached by constraints so they kind of bobble around. I guess I'm at the edge at the at the edge of the bottle. Starbucks coffee. <laughs> oh, there it is. I see the Starbucks now. I'm going to have to find that now. I think maybe the resolution is off. Let's turn off the full screen. Let's just start standalone player here. And then let's take it to full screen. Whoa. There we go. See, this feels a lot nicer. It's It's got some speed to it. Yeah, definitely adding adding like an eating mechanic would be Whoa, I think we just flew past flew past I think we found the edge of the world. <laughs> Wow. 
Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Found some cubes. I also like how the, the bubbles are like physics objects so you can like run into them. Ah. No, oh, no. I feel like I'm drifting slowly away out of the world. What happens whenever... I guess it can't actually run out of, like, food or whatever. Hmm. Alright. So I guess that's it then. Let's see. Let, let us... Ooh. Sorry about the microphone bump. Let us... Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, there should be a new video out next week on the... Um, it's going to enter the London Dare. L L I, I can never pronounce that. The, the Ludum? Ludum? Dare? But now I know how stressful is comp. <laughs> yeah, it definitely... Uh, Definitely can be stressful, but uh, um, I guess that's the biggest thing is uh, trying to find a way to turn it into, I guess, finding a way you can make it so that it's not stressful to work on it, um, but rather relaxing. Uh, but yeah. So is there supposed to be a monster in there? <laughs> or are you talking about monster from the Blender Artist forms? <laughs> Cause I don't know. I don't I don't know if he'll lead anybody. My Easter egg is in the bottle. My Easter egg is in the bottle. Which one did you which one was yours? Yours was the Which one? Oh, yours was the okay. Yours yours was the, the super RC racing one. Man. Last time I had the problem of deciding who to vote for, and I'm gonna run into the exact same problem today, because we had a bunch of good ones. Uh The fireman was good. The super RC boat racing, jet ski racing, labyrinth, labyrinth of jet death, underwater light chasing. Man, there were definitely yeah, there were definitely a lot of good ones this time too, and that's the same as last time. Um, makes me. Make, makes me, like, kind of impatient to see what's coming up in the next one. <laughs> like, what the next next uh, theme is and all of that. Time is definitely the, the hardest thing to manage. That's why whenever you get into, like, software teams or teams of any kind in, like, a real-world application, there's always somebody who's, like, hired on and their sole purpose is to organize how the time is spent. Um... You have like a a project manager who, yeah, his his whole purpose is to like make sure that everything's everything's on schedule and everything's working as planned. So yeah, that was that was pretty good. There were some pretty good good ones in there, but it's about ten thirty now. It's time for me to catch some shut eye. So. I'm going to say thank you guys for joining with me. I really love uh, interacting with the chat. And I can't wait for the next 
game competition to do this all again. Uh, let me know how the video was. Let me know if the quality was all okay. Just make sure no buffering issues. I think it went smoother than whenever I did it on YouTube. Um, I haven't tried any of the new streaming stuff though, so I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know if they changed it uh, since the last time I did it, but yeah, I think this one worked out pretty well. So yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> Make sure I can start stop the stream here.